Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girl's eyes light up. Yeah, I'm so happy. Sarah wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey, you really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcake, I would be super pissed. <clears throat> then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end tonight's meeting on a good note. Everyone, remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring the next meeting to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Kill Plix. I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. No, you don't want to see. You don't want to see that. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri's and Natsuki clean their, their food. Hey, Kill Plix. Since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she's always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Hey. With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole class, the whole way, my mind wanders back to the forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. By the way, she's my favorite, just pointing that out. She's gonna kill everybody. She's gonna kill everybody. That's unfortunate. Will it really happen? Will it really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. It'll be her. All right. I'll just need to make my most the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. You do 8-bit, you got my attention, I tell you that much. Gosh dang, this is good music. Let's show them a poem, pick words you think your favorite club member will like, something good might happen with whoever they like. Way, so if I want to target her, then I should go horror related, right? Anyway, she likes fantasy, right? So let's see. Oh, this freaking this music right now is awesome. Alright, so death. <laughs> There's no like fantasy stuff. It's all like. What, what would be fantasy? Destiny? Yeah, Destiny. Journey. Bouncy. No. Fear. 20 of these pages? Good lord. I almost feel like I have to do whistle. Even though that probably wouldn't target her. Kiss, unending, contamination, ribbon, skipping whistle, friend, entropy, doki doki. Contamination is the closest thing to like horror or adventure. Fantasy adventure. I'm gonna do whistle. Because it's me. I whistle, alright?
I don't freaking know. Unrestricted Lord. <laughs> this is gonna be a dark freaking poem. Peaceful nibble, forgive nibble. I like that word. Child of dream, crimson, fickle, crimson. Dazzle flower, bed cry, spinning party, fester fun, kawaii holiday. I want a kawaii holiday. Esther? This is too dark, man. Climax, color, embrace, amazing, fluffy, heart, intellectual, bunny jump, hurt. <laughs> I'm not doing hurt. I'm not going super dark, okay? I ain't an edgy son of a gun. I just wanted to go like horror, fantasy, adventure. But anything related, anything closely to horror or fantasy is like all dark stuff. Calm rose nightgown. Oof. I want to go to the lusty side of things, to be honest. <laughs> we'll do the lusty Argonian maid novel. Calm rose passion nightgown. Beauty peace. Fruit. Tragedy. I don't want to do the dark, edgy crap, but it's all I can think of that would target that girl specifically. Like, if that's my goal, is to target her, do they move depending on how close you are? Or is this like just random animations of them hopping around? She hasn't even moved. Oh, there she goes. Breathe lipstick, hope, philosophy, vanilla, hop, termination, charm, twirl. Termination? Philosophy. Oh, she jumps when you get the. Okay, I see. They hop when you do the right one. Can I go back? <laughs> I think they. She hopped when I did that, right? Let's see. Valentine Essence, Joy Cheeks, Rainbow Flea, Starscape Clumsy Love Tears. Man, I'm like 14 and I'm just realizing this crap. Starscape. Yeah! Suicide Scars, Dance Hair, Landscape Disarray, Misfortune, Awesome Sweet Bubbles. Landscape? Scars? No! Should I reload? Should I reload so that I can figure out that I'm targeting her? Oh my gosh. I don't think I don't know what the last save would be though. I can't believe I'm like like five away and I'm just realizing this indicator here on who I'm targeting. Flying. No! I'm targeting the other girl! Heads off fantasy, there we go. What is Target of the What? She's a fantasy! And more grief. It's all her! Frightening. That'll be her, right? Yes. Universe. Summer promise email. Unstable. Excitement. Shame. I have no idea how good, how accurate I've been. It was like the last five that I finally realized and shows who you're actually targeting. Gosh dang it. Uh, hi again, Killblix. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Ha ha. Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. 
Well, I'm back at Literature Club. It was, uh, it was the last to come in, so everybody else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Killbooks. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on. Like, he deserves any slack. Sayara told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan on to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see us at the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps your manga collection in a club room. m m m my Salona! Natsuki finds yourself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Killblix always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room, bathing, bathing, cleaning me. How dependable. Sarah, that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. And I like cleaning you. And you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so it? You two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. Don't worry. I'm going after you. Don't worry. How come you and Kilgoyce can become good friends now? Uh, uh, um. Woo! Woo! She's blushing! Sasayora. Oh, that's me. Sasoriora. Sasayori. Dot, dot, dot! As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she's put me in. Oh, Larry! Perhaps you have something today, you know? Wait, Sayori. Eh? Me? Um, not really. Don't be shy! It's really, it's really nothing. What is it? Never mind. Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Eh, I'm sorry, Yuri, I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place, so any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. <laughs> is that so? Yeah, I won't make a big deal of it if you don't want me to be. Alright, well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. I can't- I think I'm gonna change her her voice. Like, she's the one I'm targeting, so... What should I make her voice? I don't know why you left I don't freaking know. <laughs> it's not like I'm very diverse here with my voices. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so I should keep your attention even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it. At my place. When my parents are gone. If you wanted. Th this is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. What am I gonna make her voice? I'm trying to think of a good voice for her. I don't know. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a very cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she's waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki's rummaging around in the closet. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. So apparently I did choose all the good Yuri ones because I'm targeting her right now. But at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her from reading. I catch a glimpse of her the cover of her book. It looks like the same book that she lent me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Ah! Crap! I think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me, and her eyes made for a split second. Her hearts go doki doki! But that only makes her hide her face even deeper in her book. Sorry. I was just spacing out. I mutter this sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh, it's fine. If I was focused, then probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit, so... 
that's the book you gave me, right? Uh-huh. I wanted to read it, read it, some of it. Not for any particular reason. Just curious, how come you have two copies of the same book? Uh, oh wait. That was Kilplik saying, oh lord, the voices. Well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday. Oh, uh, that's not what I meant. I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. Uh, I see. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri is telling me, but I decided to let it go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once it, once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it back down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What's it about, anyway? Well, hmm. Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Alright, I just wanted to make sure I don't actually give it anything away. Basically, it's about this girl in high school who moved in with her long lost young sister. But as soon as she does, so her life. Man, this is an exhausting voice to do. But as soon as she does, her life gets really strange. I'm gonna. St <sighs> this is an exhausting voice to do. She gets targeted by people who escaped from a human experimental prison. She needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships, and her life starts to fall apart. That's kind of, uh, that's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. Aha! Uh -huh. Yuri gently giggles all of a sudden. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Gilbux? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kind of stories, so I don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so shy and, reclus shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just those kinds of stories. They can challenge you for to look at life from a strange new perspective. She's so gonna kill everybody. Why am I targeting her as a freaking romantic option when she's so gonna kill everybody? When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants you to be evil, but because they have their own goals or they- Oh my gosh, look, listen to this. She's killing everybody! She's killing us all! But because they have their own goals, and their own philosophies that they believe in. Then suddenly, when you thought you related to the protagonist, they're made out to be the naive one for letting their silent side morals interfere with invalid's plans. Uh, I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest in anything. You're hot. I'm gonna read anything you let me read. Well, well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange and kill a few people. And please stop me if I kill a few people and start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading and... A murderer! The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club, after all. Uh, that's... Well, that's true. In fact... In fact, I might as well just start reading it, right? You don't have to. Uh, what are you saying? Just a moment ago, you said you were looking forward to it. Oh. Let me just get to that book. Quickly retrieve the book that I had put in my bag. Alright, it's fine if I see her, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri. <laughs> yeah! Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with someone. I see. I just like the thought of me sitting next to some, like, a girl and she, ah, freaks out. Well, just tell me if I end up trying to hear anything. Alright. I open the book and start with the prologue. Soon I understand what Yuri means about reading in company. This is if I can feel her present. It's over my shoulder as I read. It's not particularly, whoops, maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Gah. 
Yuri is in the corner of my eye. Her cleavage is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. She's looking at my cleavage. I have cleavage? I'm a girl? Dun dun dun! I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. Sorry! I was just... Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? Uh, I do? Ah! <laughs> I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean... <laughs> oh, that was me. <laughs> Here, this should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against your reach. Then we hold the book more between the two of them. Ah! <laughs> That's cracking me up for some reason. <laughs>